son just beats the hell out of these flags. Uh, greetings and salutations. Now if it's out of the way, new flag, it's a good day. <clears throat> so, I got a little bit of a rant today. Uh, about a year ago, I bought this battery charger from Harbor Freight. And it's just a really inexpensive, I think it cost me $20 or something like that. I had, it was on sale at 20% off diff, uh, coupon and I think it ended up cost me about $20. So it's a 6 amp and a 2 amp uh, trickle charger. And I, if I'd have known this, I wouldn't have bought it. But if I got the thing home and, and uh, charged up my battery. I'm reading through the manual and it said that there's a short circuit protection on this thing and what it does is it will not begin to charge your battery until the alligator clips are clipped onto the battery and the battery charger recognizes uh, a charge so in order for this battery charger to work there needs to be some voltage, I don't know how much, but it needs to be some voltage left in the battery for this thing to start outputting voltage through these alligator clips. Well, this morning, it was a little bit chilly, so I was just going to hop in the truck with my boy and bring him to the bus stop. Uh, and I go put the key in the ignition, nothing, not even a click, click, click. And... Uh, what did I do? I came out here. I got some battery cables laying there on the ground because I've been using the battery on the, the Suburban to operate the window regulators on the cab here So I hooked up the set of battery uh, cables to the battery right quick and and did the uh, you know the short circuit test where you, you go like this And if it sparks, you know, you got some voltage in the battery dead dead in the door now So I had to walk him to the bus stop that wasn't that big of a deal. It's only an eighth of a mile maybe well I come back and I get my battery charger and I I plug it in and I put it on the thing and I put the alligator clips on the battery and nothing no humming no nothing I'm like what the hell so I get my tester out sure enough no voltage Z zero nada what good is a battery charger that doesn't work when your battery is completely dead it didn't make any sense to me so if you happen to have one of these, I'll show you how I trick this into recognizing voltage so that it would start to work. Plugged it in, hooked it up to the battery, and then I got this. I went and got the leads off my voltmeter. And I got a battery from a quadcopter. This one happens to be a 2200 milliamp hour battery. Uh, Four, it's a three cell 11.1 volt. This is like 12.4 volts fully charged. I took the leads and I put them, the pointy ends, and I put them in there like so. Now, if you, if you do this with a lipo battery, don't short these out. You could catch your battery on fire. And then I just put these on the, uh, you know, negative to negative, positive to I didn't reverse the polarity. I put that on the battery, the battery charger, recognized 12 volts, and it started charging. And, and it took about two hours to charge it up to get it to start. I learned a valuable lesson today. I don't have, I don't have adequate charging capabilities. And uh, I think I'm going to get one of those uh, small capacitor type booster packs and keep them, keep one of those in the garage here, charge it up. And I think I'm going to get a regular a uh, big old freaking battery charger without all that safety bulk <laughs> that renders a battery charger useless unless it's got some battery voltage in your battery. I just, I was so pissed this morning. when. So in short, I bought a battery charger to charge my dead battery, but the battery charger wouldn't work because the battery was dead. And the battery charger needed to see battery voltage in order for it to charge the battery, but it couldn't do that because the battery was dead and couldn't show the battery charger that uh, it was good to go. What?
So I figured no problem, right? I'll just get my battery tender, which is just a little trickle charger. I think it's one and a quarter amps. I use my little battery tender here to put a little bit of voltage in the, into the battery. So that way that battery charger will see some charge and, and then it will start to work and charge my battery. But no, battery tender has the same polarity protection that the other battery charger has. So I plugged it in and nothing come out. What the fuck? If you don't know red from black or minus from plus, you shouldn't be messing with battery chargers. Hey, that's all I'm saying. By the way, you see the new uh, air filter? See? It ain't pretty, it works. In any event, I got all the kids out to school. And um, I'm going to try to get some work done. So that being said, uh, the weather stripping and stuff came in. So I installed all the windows and uh, the uh, stationary windows, corner windows, all the glass. Um, and I, I tell you what, I've done this probably five times where I've gutted the doors. Not on this particular truck. I've done it twice on this truck. But in my lifetime, I've gutted the doors in these square bodies about five times. And I still haven't figured out what the proper procedure for reinstalling the glass and the weather stripping is. I tell you, whoever, whoever had that job at the factory was worth every freaking penny that they made. Probably some spindly little skinny arm dude or gal that was double jointed. And, because, man, my arms are all cut up. From, I mean, everything's got to be done through this little hole. It's ridiculous. But, uh, next weekend, I'm going to go to pick apart, see if I can find myself a windshield. If I can't find a windshield that's uh, any good, then I got to call Safe Light and have them come out and either bring me one or install it. Probably have them install it. Let's see. What do I got to get yet? Master cylinder for the for the clutch. Master cylinder for the bricks. And the evaporator for the AC. So it's coming along. I'm um, hoping by... What is it? October 3rd. I'm hoping by, let's say, Halloween. This is back on the chassis. And, and I need to get the... I need to get the bed in here. I don't know, man. I need to get that engine back in that suburban. It's all up in the air. I don't know what I'll do. And whatever I do, you'll see the progress. So there's the bed. I painted this uh, four years ago, right before we moved out here. And uh, I used a uh, clear on this. You see, the clear is failing. And. Uh, the inside of the bed and the, the back side of the bed, I didn't even use the clear. I just used the urethane in the that's single stage. This has got clear on it, but you can see the, the clear is faded. It's, the clear is failing and the paint's fading. And then all the seam sealer busted out. I'm going to use Bondo next time. So after I get all this done, then I need to build a lean to off the side of the garage and have a parking area for the truck in the north end of the building. That's all I got today, guys. Later.